Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another The Hunt video. We're going to be getting another badge in today's video. Now, the game we're going to be playing today is a pretty difficult one. It's a cool game though. It's Combat Warriors. Now, I just want to show you guys something weird before I jump into the game. Well, of course, I'll show you the badge. So this is the badge you can get. As you can see, around 70,000 people have got it already. However, the badges for the eggs, I don't think Roblox allowed them to use them because the weird thing is, guys, if you join the game, you can still get the eggs. But you can't unlock the badges so it's not like you can get four extra badges in the hunt it doesn't work like that so i'll tell you what guys i'll show you how to get this badge and i'll show you how to get the first egg and because this is going to take me a while to edit as well if you want to get the final two eggs i'll show you what to do but i probably won't record it it's fairly self-explanatory though um you know to get the first egg you basically do the same thing you have to play an obby actually so yeah i'll show you guys what to do i'll jump into a game um just keep in mind this one's a bit tricky okay so let's go in the game what we're going to do to start off with guys is we're going to click on the hunt you should see the picture of the egg now it says earn a score of 150 i did try clicking on the eggs and it wouldn't give them to me so that's what we're gonna have to do that's part one yeah there's quite a few parts to this well i guess there's two there's the fighting part and then there's the obby part anyway so on the fighting part as you guys can see i just got some points on my screen you want to select your weapon so you want to press one for your main weapon mine was a staff i think it gives that to you when you join the game and pretty much you just want to kill people get points and stuff like that now if you're struggling because there is a lot of OP people in this. You can use your grenades and molotovs. As you can see, I used the grenade on these guys and that was a pretty good hit. I killed a few people there, got a load of points. And yeah, you get the idea. If you're not necessarily good at these PvP fighting games, you might struggle a bit. But after getting a lot of brutal kills, I got 150 points and it lets you go to an obby. So it comes up with this new option. You want to confirm it. You want to go to this obby. And this obby is pretty difficult. If you guys have never played Combat Warriors before, you might struggle with the controls a bit on this obby now i would say what you want to do is use shift for sprint obviously space bar for jump and you can also use e for like this dive sort of like um you know front flip kind of thing and pretty much you just want to follow me and complete the entire obby i would honestly say this obby is pretty tricky some parts of this obby are like really difficult with this lava shooting everywhere you've got moving platforms you've got lava beams flying about yeah to be totally honest with you guys it's not necessarily the easiest easiest obby I've ever played but I did fairly well I completed it in a reasonable time so you know all you want to do is watch me follow me there is checkpoints so that's the good news it's not like entirely impossible it's not like Roblox battles where that obby was just so difficult oh yeah on this bit I actually died to one of these jumps here but that was fine because it positioned me in front of these towers which I had to climb I also noticed guys they gave us weapons so people were going a bit crazy they were trying to kill each other to stop them from winning the UDC egg I thought that was a bit mean but I saw slowly made my way up the tower just take your time guys honestly that's the advice i would give on this obby just take your time don't rush it too much you've got infinite lives so you know no matter how many times you die you can just try and try again on this bit it was pretty tricky actually yeah one thing i would say about this game especially the dark black platforms sometimes they really blend in with the scenery and unless you're looking at them with the lava in the background they are really hard to see so yeah you want to be careful then i got to this bit this disappearing stairs from like the um, easy obby right but this obby is definitely not easy but um, yeah i finally made my way to the top i got checkpoint five so that was pretty good and then i just want to carry on going the only good thing about this obby well i guess like the ugc eggs has loads of stock but the other good thing is they actually have like 0.5 checkpoints you can get like checkpoint four and then checkpoint 4.5 i thought that was kind of funny anyway onto this bit um i was just really really careful when jumping on these platforms because i didn't want to fall off into the lava below that would definitely kill you and jump cross onto here um if you guys get to the same point as me um you just want to wait and these platforms will come down and bring you to the top honestly this is kind of cool playing this i never would have expected to be playing an obby inside of combat warriors so yeah that was a nice surprise now on this bit uh this bit's quite easy actually if you just jump on this black cube here like the same one that i'm on if you just wait um just wait for this entire platform to rotate round you want to jump on these red squares it will actually bring you to this point here and once you're at this point you can literally just jump across so that's the easy way of getting across that you don't have to do so much jumping then you want to bounce on these smoke things water fountains i don't know what that is but it's going to bring you to the end and you're going to find the portal it's going to say you have reached checkpoint seven and guys if you run up to this portal you want to hold h on your keyboard it should in fact bring you back to the main menu or like the combat warriors main menu so yeah just give it a second to load i think mine was a bit buggy actually it started like glitching out on the loading screen anyway once it loads you 
in, you will be able to claim the Hunt badge and you will also be able to claim the UDC egg. So as you can see, I'm going to click claim badge. There we go. We got it. And I can also take the UDC egg. Now, one thing I want to say, guys, if you want to get the other two eggs, you're going to need loads more points. For part two, you're going to need to get 300 score. Then you're going to need to do another obby. And then for the final one, you've got to do another obby. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. And because, as I was saying at the start of this video, there's only one badge that sort of works. I'm just going to leave it as this. But if you wanted to get the other eggs, then go for it. It's just going to take you a long time, pretty much. So on the good old fashioned avatar, I got the demon egg fractured version. Yeah, I like that. It's very unique. So you guys know what to do if you want the other eggs. But um, yeah, damn, that one was difficult. I know the obbies get slightly harder, but you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You guys have already done it for part one in obby one. Get kills, do the obbies. And um, yeah, you can get the eggs as well as the badge. So awesome stuff.